not much of a car guy, but I know a Jaguar when I see one. And this, this isn't a Jaguar. A Jaguar is a type of large cat that's part of the panther family and is native to South America. This is a car. Obviously. Not a Jaguar. There's a big difference. Get it together, guys. Hey, hello, everybody, and welcome back to another review and to another review of a car from my birthday haul. That's it, guys. This is the final one. Victor Pevion here is the final car that I got for my birthday back on May 2nd, and we're reviewing it July 9th. I got eight cars for my birthday. We finally reached the end of them. Now, here's the thing. This is, shockingly, one of the earlier birthday haul finishes for my channel. I, I think my birthday haul is kind of infamous for taking a very long time for me to get through all the items. Uh, but this year, I did it rather early. Typically, we end in, I, I think, around August. But nope, got everything done by early July. Despite the fact that it's only eight cars, it takes quite a while to get through because I typically find a lot of new cars items uh, at this time of year. Uh, this year, I've gotten exceptionally lucky in that my stores hate me right now and, I, and I've barely found anything as of late. So, uh, I've been able to get the birthday haul out of the way, and this year I've also had like 30 other cars to review from the Robin haul and from other hauls I've ordered, but now we finally reached the end of the birthday haul. Part of what's made it go way faster is that I've been doing primarily daily reviews, or at the very least I've been trying to. You'll find like a one week gap in my reviews every once in a while. Just ignore those guys, we're going for daily. Shh. Ignore that week. That week wasn't canon. Anyway, Victor Pavillon here is a background character from Cars 2, released as part of the 2013 Palace Chaos line. Very interesting background design here. This, of course, is um, sort of the, the platform that the bomb is diffused on. He was number 6 out of 9 in the series. And on the back of the package, you could see there's a bomb! Oh, man. Palace Security detects a bomb on Mater and surrounds him as cars flee the area. You got Holly Shippo screen, you have the bomb Mater, Michael Rungeon, Victor Pavillon, and of course Miles Axelrod with open hood there. Uh, now there is another car of Victor's model, which is, I believe, Jumpstart Jay Ward. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm pretty sure he was released in the 2015 Palace Chaos series, but I might be misremembering. I know Finn was uh, in this wave as well as were a few of the British police cars. Now, another fun thing with this is, uh, if you guys remember my Nelson Blindspot review, you might remember a little sticker that the seller had placed on this that my parents bought it from. And it uh, seems that this was purchased from the same seller. So there's some fun information on a little sticker they placed down here. So as you can see, it says 8613, which would be August 6th, 2013. And they bought it for $3.49. So maybe a, maybe a Walmart purchase. I think it's so funny that this seller marked that when they got it. And that was over a decade ago. And just now it's been sold and it's joining my collection. So to you, Mr. Victor Pavillon, purchased on August 6th, 2013. Welcome to my collection. Took you almost 11 years to get to get here, but this will be your uh, your final resting place. That sounded really morbid. Okay, so here's Victor out of the package, and I'm just gonna say it. I'm not a really big fan of how this car model looks. Jaguars are a, are a very unique and easily identifiable type of vehicle, and I, I don't know. I just don't really like the look. This shade of yellow isn't helping him. He just looks like a squashed banana. It, this is such a strange design. I just don't think it translates well to the car's diecast line. He is, I believe, the same model as David Hobbscap, who I think just works much better. I think he's got a better facial expression. He also has the headset, which kind of fills out some of this, this empty space over here. Kind of makes the weird shaping look a little less weird. But this is a car I wanted purely because he has a very unique design. And again, it's a pretty recognizable real-life vehicle. Even, I'm not the, even if I'm not the biggest fan of the design, I... I think it's still quite an interesting one. Um, now let me just double check that he does have a Jaguar copyright. He actually doesn't. Wow. It's interesting because he is supposed to be one. He's based on a, on a very specific Jaguar. Um, great. That's, that's really weird. Uh, you know what? We may have to do some digging here. Is, is he canonically not a Jaguar? Okay, so Victor shares a model with David Hobbscap, who is, in fact, confirmed to be a 1963 Jaguar E-Type. And, uh, yeah, that, that's just not copywritten on, on either of them. Um, so that's very strange, right? Despite being explicitly based on a real type of car, it's also not copywritten on the back of the package. 
Are, are they just over here, like, knocking off the Jaguar design and the Dynamax design? Do they not have the rights to Jaguar and they just said, screw it, we'll make an identical vehicle and just not label it as that? What? What happened here? It's so strange. Also strange is the usage of a mouth plate, something that was pretty much phased out by uh, by 2013. But uh, as you can see, unfortunately, Victor has one. In fact, he doesn't have just a mouth plate. Uh, the entire way he's assembled is very clearly visible, and it's it's not the best looking, unfortunately. That's just how this mold was built, which is very strange, and I don't think it's something you would see today. This David Hobbs cap is from 2016, for the record, which I believe is his most recent release, and so, yeah, they never fixed uh, fixed the mouth, but he's never been a unibody. On the back, it looks like we have... Oh, there we go. Okay, good. It does say Jaguar. All right. There you go. Uh, strange, though, that it isn't copier in there. I don't know what happened. Also unfortunate that mine has some paint scuffs on it. His license plate reads LN54HK1. Please don't be the same as David. Nope. Okay. You're in the clear, buddy. There is a look at the other side. And finally, there is a look at the base. So certainly an interesting looking background character and one that I'm sure I can find a place for in Cars Adventures. Fill out a scene with him or a car like him. That's what's always good about vehicles like this. They just make for good, fun additions to your collection, right? Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching, and I uh, gotta say thank you for sticking around all of these reviews recently. There have been a lot of them, and uh, Victor may be the last time you see an unboxing review in, in quite a while. Everything else I have that's new, I actually have loose, other than that weird Disney Store Porto Corsa set. So here's hoping I can find some new inbox stuff soon to review, but until then, uh, this is going to be the last unboxing review in quite a while. Everything else will be loose items. Thank you all so much for watching. See you guys next time. Bye now.